put me down for this one. Mami! Rambo! Mami! Hello everyone, my name is Philip Oyeleye. I'm a filmmaker and a serial entrepreneur. Keep watching God's Home TV. On YouTube, please subscribe. God bless you. Gospel movie actor Philip Oyeleye has revealed how he met popular filmmaker Damlola Mike Bamiloye, the writer and producer of Abatoa series. Philip Oyeleye played the role of Rambo, a notorious cultist in Abatoa season 3. While fans of the show thought he was dead as a result of gunshot wounds in season 3, he made a dramatic entrance in the last scene of season 4, making his fans and followers jump for joy. Speaking on how he bagged the role, the Abattoir star revealed he was assisting Pastor Victor Lukoju at his annual event when he met Damlola Mike Bamiloye. He said for that, that he was contacted to play a role in Legion movie, but was unable to meet up due to his tight schedule. In his words, he said, That day, I was definitely at my duty post being the special assistant to my daddy, and I met Brodami. I greeted him and that was all, and we continued with the program. Towards the end of the program, he just felt like, Can you give me your number? I said, No problem and we exchange contact and then boom after a few weeks he reached out to me that he want to do a movie called legion that he wants me to play a particular role but because i was a little bit tight in my schedule later on he said no problem next time before i knew it he just called me again and said he wants me to feature in one particular movie he also revealed that prior to the invitation he was not an ardent follower of the series as he was not watching it back to back, but he went back to it and watched all. In his words, prior to that, I have not been a big fan in court of Abattoir, like watching it back to back. Definitely I see it when I'm free most times. I went back to the movie and saw it. Fast forward to what Abattoir is becoming, the story is another world entirely. It's becoming so much interesting. Interesting is the least word I can use right now. It's becoming so much interesting, so much empowering, and so much revealing.